A young girl is in the hospital after she was shot at a local apartment complex on the far east side. Yeah, it's the fourth weekend in a row here in Indianapolis where we've told you about someone under the age of 18 being shot. Fox 59's Courtney Spelly is talking with neighbors today, also with police, about what needs to change now to keep our most innocent and vulnerable safe. Police say that girl, just 12 years old, was inside a building here at the Washington Point Apartments when someone fired from outside, hitting her in the neck. This is now the fourth weekend in a row in the city where a child was shot. Both the community and police are saying enough is enough. You never know who you're hitting with that bullet. Bullets have no eyes. This time, the bullet hit a 12-year-old girl shot Sunday night while in her home. Everyone should be safe, especially a child should be safe in their own home. Like most summer nights, neighbors say it was busy outside when the shooting happened. It was. And a lot of children, like not uh, toddlers, not even school-age children. This father, who didn't want to be identified over concerns for his family's safety, says he ran for cover when he heard the shots. That's when he saw children doing the same. We first heard the first shot. I was like, okay. But then the shots like just kept on continuing and continuing and continuing. Another neighbor who only wants to go by Shields lives next to the unit where the girl was injured. She has three children of her own and says this was her breaking point. I am looking to move because I can't do it. That was, this is too close to home. It's like a knock on the door. It's a knock on the door. She's already familiar with that type of feeling, having already lost her son when a car struck and killed him. That could have been another one of my kids that was taken away from me. Just this year, seven children have died in shootings. More than 50 others were injured. It's certainly frustrating to our officers, lots of our officers and our uh, paramedics and fire. We have children of our own. The really heartbreaking part of is watching the, the child on a stretcher. It makes me want to cry. Uh, and I feel bad for the family. As of right now, no arrests have been announced in this case. IMPD says they need anyone who saw something or heard something to step up and come forward to get justice for this young girl. For now, reporting on the Far East Side, Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News.